Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 15 of ServiceNow developer interview question and answer series. So without any delay, let's see first question. So the first question is, what are the different ways to access server side data in client script? So there are three different ways to access server side data in client script. First is using get reference method, second one is using Glide Ajax API, and third one using the display business rule. There might be a one more question arise from this answer, like uh, which one will you prefer? So most of the time we have to say like uh, we will prefer Glide Ajax API other than uh, other two methods. Why? Because like Glide Ajax API will in, uh, more performance efficient okay let's now move to the next question next question is what is the purpose of isolate script checkbox in client script so if you notice like uh, in a client script uh, like uh, after below the script field there are one checkbox is there isolate script so what is the use of that so it manages whether DOM manipulation should be enabled, disabled for client script. DOM manipulation means like a do document object manipulation. Okay, document object model, not manipulation. Okay, so if DOM manipulation is not working, then there is a possibility that this checkbox is true, which is forcing client script to run in script mode. So let's say like in client script you have written, you use some uh, HTML attribute. So that that we called as a like a document object model in that case, and that if you want to uh, run the client the client script by using that HTML attributes as well, you need to uncheck the isolate script. Okay, other, other otherwise your uh, client script uh, won't won't be executed. Now move to the next question. Next question is what are the different objects available in business rule? So Different objects are the like current, previous, GS, or G underscore scratch pad. Now the next question is what is query business rule? What is primary objective of it? And explain with example. This is the one of the most important question. In mostly interview, they will ask about this. So the before query business rule get executed when query made to the database. On a particular table, the primary objective of query business rule is to hide or show records. This could be based upon some condition. An example is show only active users to all user who is not having admin or user admin role. So the complete question will be like what is before query business rule? I just made a mistake. So it's like a what is before query business rule and what is the primary rule? So you have to tell this answer like uh, before query business rule is uh, executed when we when we made a query to a table and we have to show or hide some records based upon some condition. So in that case, we'll use the before query business rule. Now move to the next question. So next question is which all client script get executed when we change field value via list. So you just tell like uh, only on sale edit client script gets executed when we update field field via list view. So now maybe interview want to confuse you like uh, we are changing a field from the list view. So might be like uh, on change or will on change or on submit will run or not. So in that case, you just tell like uh, on change and on submit client script will be executed at form level. Okay. Now move to the next question. So next one, this is a bonus question like uh, how to trigger notification via business rule. So uh, for triggering the notification from business rule, we have to use a gs.eventq method. Okay. So uh, their syntax is the, like uh, that gs.eventq. So if you tell like gs.eventq, so maybe they will ask like uh, what are the different parameters are available. You just tell there are five parameters are available. The first one is event name. The second one is the glide record object. 
and the third and fourth parameter are the param1, param2. So there we can specify any any string, any method, any variable. And the fifth one is a queue. Like if our event is follow any specific queue, so then we have to specify the queue as well, and that is an optional one. So might be they will ask for the triggering notification. Or might be they will ask directly how to trigger notification, uh, how to trigger event from a business rule. So the answer is same, same only. Like we use the GS dot event queue method. Yeah. So in the last video, I have asked like is discovery is a one way or two way communication. So discovery is a one way communication only where the mid server pulls information from ECC queue and updates the ECC queue with a response. And the today's question is how to call script include in workflow. If you know the answer, please write in the comment box and I'll give the answer in the next video. Till that time, thank you. God bless you all.